Well, just like I said, Camilla Harris was out yesterday on the campaign trail and she was met with another group of anti-genocide pro-Palestine protesters. And it seems like she took her time out to actually listen to her PR team and discuss how much blowback that she actually got from shutting down the first group of pro-Palestinian protesters. If you're not tuned in and I honestly don't blame you, this is what she had to say to the group of protesters who came to her campaign rally. So let me say, I have been clear. Now is the time to get a ceasefire deal and get the hostage deal done. Now is the time. And the president and I are working around the clock every day to get that ceasefire deal done and bring the hostages A ceasefire deal that her and Joe Biden has been working around the clock on. Let me let me go check on that real quick. Oh, this must be the ceasefire deal that her and Joe Biden is working around the clock on. This is the hottest deal that her and Joe Biden is working on. Another three point five billion to Israel in weapons. And when was that? The same day that she said this. Now. I'm not the smartest man in the world, but there is no way that I would be dumb enough to fall for something like this. Now, how can you negotiate with a man who has made up his own plans for a ceasefire had Hamas agreed to those terms and agreement and then turn around and not even accept his own plans for a ceasefire in the hostage release? See, Democrats are notorious for this type of thing. When the people are shouting and want universal health care, they are pushing for Medicare for all. When we are pushing to abolish or defund the police, they are looking to reform the police. It always seems like they are five steps behind or late to the party. But I'm telling you that they do this purposely, not only to hold you back, but to pull you to the right on issues that should have been solved before we was even born. I mean, let's be honest. The people that are still out there protesting today isn't calling for a ceasefire. Those days are over. We have over 100,000 people dead and their blood is still wet on the rubble. What they are calling on is for you to end the genocide of the Palestinian people. What they are calling on is for an embargo on arms on Israel. What they are calling on is for you to stop the senseless violence against people who has done nothing to be struck down and feel the wrath of the empire's iron fist. She can say she wants a ceasefire all that she wants, but until they stop giving criminals weapons that they're going to use to kill civilians and children with, none of the shit that comes out of her mouth is worth a damn thing.